Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Luke chapter 11, beginning at verse 37 and ending at verse 54. This is the Amplified Version. Woes upon the Pharisees. Now, after Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee asked him to have lunch with him. He went in the Pharisee's home and reclined at the table without ceremonially washing his hands. The Pharisee noticed this and was surprised that Jesus did not first ceremonially wash before the meal. But the Lord said to him, Now you Pharisees, clean the outside of the cup and plate as required by tradition, but inside you are full of greed and wickedness. You foolish ones, acting without reflection or intelligence. Did not he who made the outside make the inside also? But give that which is within as charity, that is, acts of mercy and compassion, not as a public display, but as an expression of your faithfulness to God. And then indeed, all things are clean for you. But woe, judgment is coming to you, Pharisees, because you self-righteously tithe mint and rue and every little garden herb, tending to all the minutiae, and yet disregard and neglect justice and the love of God. But these are the things you should have done without neglecting the others. Woe to you, Pharisees, because you love the best seats in the synagogues and to be respectfully greeted in the marketplaces. Woe to you, for you are like graves which are unmarked, and people walk over them without being aware of it, and are ceremonially unclean. One of the lawyers, an expert in the Mosaic law, answered him, Teacher, by saying this, you insult us too. But he said, Woe to you lawyers as well, because you weigh men down with burdens, man-made rules, unreasonable requirements, which are hard to bear, and you yourselves will not even touch the burdens with one of your fingers to lighten the load. Woe to you, for you repair or build tombs for the prophets, and it was your fathers who killed them. So you are witnesses and approve the deeds of your fathers, because they actually killed them, and you repair or build their tombs. For this reason also, the wisdom of God said in the scriptures, I will send them prophets and apostles, some of whom they will put to death and some they will persecute, so that charges may be brought against this generation, holding them responsible for the blood of all the prophets, shed since the foundation of the world, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah the priest, who was murdered between the altar and the house of God. Yes, I tell you, charges will be brought against this generation. Woe to you lawyers, because you have taken away the key to knowledge, scriptural truth. You yourselves did not enter, and you held back those who were entering by your flawed interpretation of God's word and your man-made tradition. When he left there, the scribes and the Pharisees began to be very hostile toward him and to interrogate him on many subjects, plotting against him to catch him in something he might say. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.